mouse pointer, I'm using the mouse, I click start, I get a start menu, I launch mail, here's a universal outlook, it runs in a window, just as I've been showing you already. Now when I remove the keyboard and mouse, it prompts, should I enter the tablet mode? And when you say yes, the app is maximized, the taskbar adds a back button for switching, and when you touch start with your finger, it switches itself into the large start mode, so that it's really easy for you to pick other apps and navigate around and launch them. So here we launch the OneNote. OneNote is, it knows that it's in the touch mode, so the UI adjusts. I say new page, and I can do something like use the pen to ink write my OneNote. If I want to switch apps, I can go back to start, or I can use the familiar taskbar that I have known for years, and I have a simple, convenient way to do this. When I bring the keyboard and mouse back, I'm prompted again to exit tablet mode, and when I do, the start menu comes back to its small mode where I last left it, and the apps that I ran are still present on the device in their windowed mode because now I'm using it like a laptop. When we've shown this to people, we've shown this to a lot of partners, enterprises, OEMs, people say, yeah, that feels right. And we're now at the point where we're getting to the, the, our software development to where we can really be testing it out and making adjustments to how it works. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually run it one more time. It went kind of fast, and I didn't get to make all the points I was going to make as I was describing it. And I want to give you all a chance to get a sense for this continuum from mouse and keyboard mode to touch and back. So